So this was in one of the heavy boxes. Um, and I had forgotten that I had ordered this new coffee maker. Eli and Zach gave me gift certificates to Amazon for Christmas. And so, wouldn't you know, my old coffee maker went belly up a couple days ago. It sprung a leak and leaked coffee all over uh, my countertop. So I thought, well, it's 25 years old. I guess I can't get too upset with it. So I decided this time that I would get a bigger coffee maker because the one I had only made four cups and ooh, I've become a terrible coffee addict. So I decided this one is it, the carafe will hold uh, 10 cups and it's a thermos carafe that'll keep your coffee hot for you at the table if you want to take it over. And the cool part of this one is you can make single cups of coffee. You can either make a tumbler, which I stuck this one in here. Mark will remember this one. He got it years ago when he was working at uh, Woodward. And so you can make that size or you put this little platform on here and you can make a single cup just like that. The coffee for the single cup goes in here. Has this little adapter that, whoops, I didn't want to take that out. i leave that in, that's a funnel. And this is where you put your coffee. Slap it in there. And you just hit single cup and tell it to brew now and wham, you got a cup of coffee. Awesome. Or if you like the K-cups, it comes with an adapter that you would use in place of the one I showed you to put the K-cup in and stick, sit your coffee cup on there and you got a cup of coffee with your K-cup. I don't use those, so I don't know about that. But anyway, you can store it inside that little platform and so everything's nice and convenient. Is that not the coolest thing? Thank you, Zach and Eli. <laughs> that was one of the heavy boxes. I'm gonna have to remember when I order something. Hmm, one of those people with boxes on the porch and think, oh, where'd that come from? Oh my gosh, I ordered that. Till next time. Bye. Okay, I'm going to try to show you um, what was in all those boxes that were dropped on my porch uh, for my birthday. Um, this, uh, Cindy had sent me gift certificates to the Brass Octopus in Rockton, which is the new little quilt shop in Rockton that I love so much. And these are some of the fabrics that I got with some of the gift certificate money. Uh, she was extremely generous in her gift certificates and I'm loving shopping for fabric. Thank you, Cindy. Cody and Hannah came to visit um, the evening of my birthday and brought me these pretty little flowers. These are real. I don't know what they are, but honestly, aren't they pretty? And they got me this little pin cushion. I just think this is adorable. It looks like a little pot. It's all padded, made with cloth. And you can open it up and you can store pins in there or whatever you want and or, or stick your pins in the top so i need to start using this as a pin cushion but it was so pretty i wanted to leave it like this for a little while and then angie and kyle and the girls came and <laughs> that was just so darn cute um 
they had sparklers and they stood out on the sidewalk and sang happy birthday to me. And they bought me this little sign that's handmade and a pan of homemade lasagna. How about that? Uh, yesterday, I, I made the video showing um, the kit that Mark had sent uh, to try to turn me into a YouTuber. <laughs> He's so excited to get me to make YouTube video. And um, I, if you look at the picture of all the boxes, on the very top is a big flat envelope. And in that envelope, was a deer antler uh, for bear to chew on. And I tried to take uh, get it away from him yesterday <laughs> so I could take a picture of it and he wouldn't give it to me. He kept running with it. He loves his deer antler. <laughs> so that was a hit. He got a birthday present. <laughs> um, then let's see. Um, the other... The... Oh, what the... The big, the big heavy box that the mailman was having such a fit because it weighed so much was this all for weighted blanket, sleep in a hug. My goodness, they are not kidding. That is awesome. I can hardly wait to go to bed at night. Uh, it's so warm and it, and it does, it hugs your body. But it weighs a lot when you try to carry it. When I tried to carry it down to the bedroom, I thought, oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm going to make it down there. I don't know the exact weight of it, but it's heavy. But it feels so good. You'd think that you wouldn't like it laying on you at night, but oh, all I could think of last night was I want to go to bed because I, I want to get underneath that blanket. That is so cool. And that was from Mike and Shannon. Uh, and thank you so much. Uh, let's see, what else do, was in the boxes? I have to look this and see if I, what I'm missing. Um, okay. Oh, uh, and I made the video of, um, the coffee maker. And that was something that I bought and forgot I ordered it. For, for just a minute, though, it came to me. <laughs> I'm not forgetful in my old age. But I'm loving my coffee maker. And that was from gift certificates from Amazon from Zach and Eli for Christmas. That was really, really great. And every morning, I think of Zach and Eli I'm making my coffee. Okay, then. The next thing... The next thing is, in one of the bigger boxes, was this over and down under quilt kit. This is so beautiful. And this is something that I had ordered, but I didn't know it was coming so soon. I thought it was coming later. So that was one of the boxes that, that was on the porch, too. Let's see if I can get this thing open here. The quilt kit comes with, it's all flannels. All different flannels. Oh my gosh, I love the color. I love the color and this is going to be beautiful. And then the outline, it looks really white, white, but it's a, um, an ecru color. Uh, for the, the background, but what soft flannel. I forget what the name of the flannel is. Woolies. Woolies flannel from Maywood Studios. Oh my gosh, it's just gorgeous. So I saw this on uh, Facebook and I had to have it. This is um, the pattern, uh, but this is the one that had the black background and I chose the one with the Ecru background. Anyway, that was that was one of the boxes. Right now, I'm in the middle of making a quilt uh, with a through a group at the quilt shop, so I have to finish that before I can 
start this flannel one, but I'm really looking forward to to making this one. There's a picture of it in in the white. Ah, so that was one of the boxes. And then the other box. Um, let's see if I can get that in the camera. I haven't opened this one yet. So this one is going to be, this one's going to be a true unboxing here. I have no idea how this goes together or anything. This is from Mike and Shannon too. And I'm thinking everybody wants me to be a YouTuber. And they're all con telling me to do this. And all these things are coming for YouTube. Ah. So let's see if I can get this all on camera here. All right. This was one of the bigger box. Oh, I know. The big tall box on the left in the picture. <laughs> that the funny part of that is is this box was the only thing in that big tall box. <laughs> it was down at the bottom all by itself and the whole rest of the box was empty. I don't know who packed that, but they must have had a good laugh about putting it in that box. So the first thing here is, uh, this is an all, a fill-in light, which I have to tell you that right at the moment, the light that was in Mark's box is what is lighting up my display here this morning. I have that mounted on the, the top of my camera. Well, it's my iPhone, actually, that it's mounted on. So this is called a Beauty Supplement Light Ring. I wonder if this would make me beautiful. This would be cool if this would work. Take an old lady and make her look 20 again. Now that, that would be pretty awesome. So here's what the light looks like. Oh boy. Comes with all the little adapters to hook it on a tripod or to your camera or whatever what the heck it's even got a i don't know what that is an on off and make it brighter make it dimmer wow i'm gonna be well lit up here i'll tell you and then it has it says a recording stand for a camera and a recording stand for a microphone Wow. So, let's see. Let's see if I can get into this box. Wow, oh wow, oh wow. This is the stand for... A camera. And it clips, clamps. Oh, that's what this is. It clamps to the table. Let's open this up here. That's what's in this. So, put this on the table. And then, this clamps to it. And you mount your light on, or your camera on this end. And the other one will hold the light. And this one holds your phone or camera or whatever you hook up to it. So you get the right kind of light to get a good video going for YouTube. Look out, world. Here I come. 
I've got all the equipment. Now I just have to learn what I'm doing. I think i got to go back to school. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, that's it, folks. That's what was in all those boxes that you were looking at. What a birthday I had. It was such a great day. And thank you to Angie and Kyle for coming and, and singing. It just put the frosting on the cake, I'll tell you. Till next time, well, folks. Bye.